Happy Thumbs Gaming. Week show. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out lockboxes one of two for North Point, where there are a total of 40 lockboxes for, you guessed it, sleeping dogs. So here we are actually in the first mission. This is kind of the prologue. You can feel free to watch our entry in the prologue and it'll walk you through right to where these are. Uh, I was unaware of the map or the process of how this was all going to work out. Sometimes there's a few things we have to figure out right in the beginning. So I apologize that there is not a map displayed before we show you these. However, we also have shown you the Hell Shrine video. And so now there are two points of reference for this video that you can use in order to gain access to both of these lockboxes. Because the other lockbox is just right at the end of the corner there. And booyaka shall. Let's go ahead and grab it instead of standing next to it like we're a model for Abercrombie and Fitch. I was going to use a profane word there, but I figured I might as well keep it clean. I had a nice talk with one of our viewers uh, the other day. Apparently her seven-year-old son had been watching Lego Batman videos, and they had to teach their son what a crackhead, a stud whore, and a cheesy Peter, I think it was, were. So I'm going to try to keep it a little bit cleaner, even though this is a game that most kids probably won't be playing. Regardless, here we are up in the northwestern corner, and we're going to go ahead and go south just a wee bit. And on our way down, we're going to stop right under the giant pink and green sign. And we're going to look over to the side, and we're going to see kind of this hidden stairwell entrance. We're going to follow it all the way to the top. We're going to turn around, and as soon as you turn a 180, you should be able to see that flashing corner over there. Follow to the flash, and guess what? You get cash. That's right. Follow that flash, and you'll get that cash. God, did I just screw all of us by coming up with some new play on words? I think I did. All right, so moving on to number four. This video here uh, is only going to case the first 20. So this is exactly the first half, and we are still in this night market here. We're going to run up and over that little stairwell where all those people go inside that lovely building there. We're going to tuck around all the way behind all these little booths, and we're going to grab that stash of cash behind that flash. Oh, yeah. So most of these are just 5K, but I tell you what, 5K, 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 5K adds up really fast. So here we are, number five, trying to stay alive. We're going to go straight from this one and move right behind all these booths. And guess what? You can see it from here already. Cut across, and there's a guy standing there. He seems to be guarding it, but it's really just a dude in chick's clothes, and he poses no threat to us whatsoever. Cut that ponytail, dude. Oh, wait, you don't got one, unless it was a side pony. All right, here we are over on the western side, kind of midwestern of North Point. Tried to leave it kind of obvious so that uh, we weren't standing in the alley or whatnot. Probably an easier way. Gonna just run up these stairs and don't get confused. We've already seen this once before. And we went in the door. This time we're gonna go up and above the door. And up and over the top. And booyah, kasha. Stash of cash behind the flash. Oh yeah. It's funny, even my cat's looking at me right now going, dude, not cool. Nobody wants to hear that stupid phrase. But you know what? I don't listen to cats, nor do I speak cat knees, so <laughs> joke's on you, buddy. All right, so here we are in the park, in the dark. And guess what? Let me give you a little piece of advice, people. It's not wise to go searching for things under bridges in the park at night. Because guess what? There's a-holes like this floating around, and they're going to try to uh, invade your space and not allow you to get that lovely lockbox there. So... We are going to go Hulk on them and smash and crash. That's right. Don't try to kick me. I'll flip you around and smash your ass. Oh. Oh, he got me. I hate it when I'm getting, like, major button mash and all of a sudden this dude tries to attack and I'm, like, eight squares too deep before it to register a triangle in there anywhere. That's right. I push the buttons too fast. I'm way ahead of myself more often than not. Oh, look at that. Gold Rush. If you're wondering what the Gold Rush trophy is... 
it is simply awarded to you for achieving five gold stat awards. So essentially, each time you steal something, break something, kick something, whatever, uh, it adds to an accumulative total that will reward you with things. So once you beat so many guys up, you get something. Once you hack so many cameras, you get something. So all these little things add up kind of in the background. You can always check your stats from the start menu. And that'll kind of give you an indication of what you need. But, hey, I wouldn't worry about it. If you play the game, you're going to earn those things. So don't stress on it too much. All right. So here we are, not too far down the way here. And uh, we are going to find our way into this dark alley, as I just advised you not to do at night. And we are going to smash and grab, basically. Beat the shit out of these dudes and then take his money. I say his because there's obviously a ringleader here. And the other two are just followers. So That's right. Dude, you should have had a shirt on. You might have been able to uh, protect those movies a little better, and I wouldn't have been able to take advantage of them. So, you can see here, I just open another box, and you know, you'll get bronze achievements, and silver achievements, and gold achievements. Gold Rush is simply getting five gold achievements. So, play the game. You'll get it. No worries. Here we are, 9 of 40, kind of in the northwestern area here. We're not all the way in the tip, <laughs> but we're going to basically just go to club. Bam, bam. And this one right here is tricky. This one you cannot access until you have made it halfway through Act 2. So I'll probably put this in the notes to hopefully prevent you from getting too far into this video and this search without uh, having to stop. Because that's what I had to do. I had to stop at 8 and then play a significant amount of the storyline and then come back to get 9. So um, basically what you got to do is you have to defeat the level New Boss in Town. Um, again, it's an act two. Once you complete it, you take over the club. I won't tell you why, but you get access to the manager's office. And once you do that, you can run upstairs into the office, as you can see me doing right now. And even though it's our office, we still need to know the combination. So I think I struggle on this one. Every once in a while, I struggle. I, in fact, I think this is actually the first one I did. I'm like, what in the hell? What am I doing? I'm spinning it left. The only thing is, I think I was spinning the right stick left. Like counterclockwise. Uh, sometimes I just don't even know what the hell I'm doing. That's all right, though. It doesn't show too much in the videos, or at least I hope it doesn't. So here we go. We are two of three, and we're working on that third one now. And come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. I promise that this is the worst one out of them all. All the rest are pretty quick. And we are almost done. It's not going to take you another 10 hours to watch this part of the video, I promise. All that for five thousand dollars? Oh wait, we got some cool. We got a cool sports watch too. Oh, and look at that, Gadget Man. So, Gadget Man is awarded to you for picking a lock, planting a bug, tracing a phone, cracking a safe, and taking over a spy camera. So, again, if you play the game, you are not going to miss out on that. If you play the story mode and do what you're supposed to do, even if you don't run around and get all of the extra stuff. There are at least one mission that will guide you right to at least one of those along the way. So, again, Gadget Man is just one of those trophies you're going to get no matter what. Otherwise, we'd have a specific video up for it. We might even down the road, uh, but to us, um, you know, and we're not just some dummies that don't know what we're talking about. We got a pretty good idea of who needs help with what trophies, and usually it's because we need help ourselves. So, with that being said, we do not feel that that Gadget Man trophy deserves a video, even though it was originally on our list. Um, if that changes, you guys are having troubles with it, feel free to leave us a comment. We always respond to your comments, and uh, often we'll uh, make an extra video because of your request. So, moving along now, we're going to be kind of, uh, kind of north central, and this one's kind of tough. We're going to be up on top of the uh, walkway here. And you just do that by going up the stairs. I didn't do anything special. There are a couple sets of walkways like that, the overpasses, and one of them you can't get onto. So make sure you check your map appropriately. And the other one's nowhere near where we are, so it shouldn't be a problem. But essentially, uh, although they're, it's not directly guarded, there are three baddies hanging out right in your path to get to this next lockbox. So take them out. Look at me trying to throw this dude off off of this wall that's three feet above three stairs. That's awesome. Probably not going to do a whole lot of damage throwing him off, you know, two stairs. All right. So as I proceed to smash some face and get face smashed, we will go ahead and come on, finish him. 
Finish him. Alright. That's right. I even had a little uh, continuation there just to show how badass I am, even though I'm really not that badass. My fighting skills could use some work. Alright, so after you run past the baddies, it's literally the first corner. You'll see a table, a little picnic table, and you just bust a right, and it's right there in the corner. There's the table. All right, so we are actually going to start right from where we just left off and move on to the next one. So that table's right behind us there. We're going to just keep on advancing away from the overpass walkway that we started this adventure on. And we're just going to follow the path. It's pretty simple. There's uh, open gates. And, oh, it's a big jump. And you get all the way to this rust-covered wall. And as soon as you do, you're going to go ahead... And, oh, I thought that was the one. There's one coming up where we got to flip it around. But, hey, look at that. You go past the rust-colored wall, and it's actually damn near the same scenario as before. You go right past the next corner, and booyakashow, right there on the right, stash of cash. And just to be cool, we're going to show you where it is one more time. So hopefully between the starting point and the ending point, you will be able to determine where exactly those are. And if not, rewind it. Watch it again. Ask us a question. We're here to help. So... Okay, these ones are on the northeastern side of North Point, and they are actually going to be under the bridge. There are two areas. Um, I'll be honest, I went for this, and I got down to the last guy, and the asshole killed me. So I got really pissed, had to go to the hospital, pay my 12,000 Hong Kong dollars. And then I came back with vengeance, and this time, I chose not to get off my motorcycle. And it does take me a second to run these fools over, but guess what? Made my job a little bit easier. And once we verify they are all dead and I have no chance of dying, we're going to sneak back here under this overpass pillar and grab that lockbox. On to the yeah. In case you lost count, it's right there on the bottom, right in front of you. 13 out of 40. We're getting well on our way here to uh, completing the first video of the two. There are a total of 40 lockboxes in North Point. Central has 30. And then the, each of the other two areas have 15 each. So that makes it a little bit easier. We got the biggest one out of the way first. And we will just continue um, along with the story there. So we'll head up to Central next. And then we'll just make our way over to uh, what's next. Is it Aberdeen? Isn't that what it's called? Um Let's see here. Kennedy Town, I guess, would be next. My bad. Then Aberdeen. So, all right. So we're right after what we just did there under the bridge. And rather than take our bike, we're going to make things a little bit easier on ourselves. And we're going to grab a car that was just literally right there. And we're going to go and <laughs> just take these dudes out. Now, check it out. There's two groups of guys. There's a group of three and a group of five. So there's a total of eight guys you really got to take out in order to... Uh, successfully grab this stack of cash and uh, we made it easier by going ahead and grabbing the old car so once we do a few more cookies and take out the last remaining guy boom look at that dude he was doing cartwheels I've never seen a fat dude do cartwheels that's that was a privilege right there I never will either and if you know anybody that's fat and you have a video camera I'm just kidding not trying to solicit uh, fat people cartwheel videos. Although a, a big compilation of big people doing cartwheels, I'm pretty sure it would be somewhat amusing. So, anyways, not to discriminate or uh, hate on anybody who has a weight issue. I apologize. I just, just saying, you don't ever see big people doing cartwheels. Right? I mean, if you're offended by that and you're big, just answer this question. Do you do cartwheels often? And if so, do you do them in front of the public so other people like me can see you? Probably not. So, sorry if I offended anybody, but it's kind of a kind of a interesting topic that I got there. Big people doing cartwheels. So. Who knows? Maybe there'll be a half-hour special on TV about it soon. All right. So we're just gonna continue to smash face. We only have five left. We already showed you where the map was. Hopefully, you got that. If not, rewind it. What's up, Vlan? It's one of our 503 members right there, SOS Vlan. Now you can see here, any ideas where the next lockbox is going to be? Mm -hmm. See, I just opened that box, and you can see down there I got a bronze unlock. So back to that gold rush trophy. 
you know, the more we unlock these boxes, the next one we'll get will be a silver, and then the one after that will be gold, and so on and so forth. So just continue doing all of your little actions, and you will earn this stuff. So we didn't go far. We just ran right over the top and shouldn't have any problems finding that one since you can see it from the other one. Then this next one isn't too far either, but, you know, we would probably recommend grabbing a vehicle. We took the foot route because we saw it was only, you know, 150 meters or whatever it was when we started. We thought, oh, no big deal. We'll just, we'll just hoof it. Well, I apologize for that. And I probably even should have sped it up because it seems like it takes a little while. But this last, or not last one, this next one is right over here up inside this building. So we got to actually find the stairwell and then make it up there. And when then we make it all the way around to the front side. So it's actually right up above us right now. But in order to get there, we have to go on the side. If you're looking at it from the front, it's the left side. And then run up them stairs. And, of course, like I said, you just got to follow it all the way back around to the front. Once you get to the front, you will see some a-holes. Take them out real quickly. And then you need to move on. Look at that. I, I roadhoused him all the way down. I Patrick Swayze'd him all the way down to the ground. And then this dude. So, uh, you can see there. Guess what? Look at that. What's up, Rex? I'll give a little shout out for you having a uh, higher score than me. Smiley Rex 007, one of our viewers, who has uh, actually been pissing me off. I won't lie. That's right, Rex, if you're watching. No, I'm just kidding. You're not making me mad. But I am a little jealous because you are further than me and you do have some of the accomplishments that I'm working on that I don't. So it's frustrating to be driving around somewhere and see your name telling me that you're better than me. Not for long, though, Rex. I'm working on it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We got that guy. Now we're just going to scale this wall here. I did speed this up because this is another one that's just a little bit too far away. And after that last one, I thought about grabbing a car, but then I looked on the map and went... Oh, it's right here, but we went ahead and sped it up for you. Hey, what's up, Rumpo? There's Rumpo from the Nuketown Hooligans. Had it sped up so you didn't get to see it that much, but, uh, yep. I'll, I'll one more shout-out for the old Nuketown boys. Uh, some of our friends have created a channel similar to ours, but it's predominantly Battlefield videos, and I'm sure, being that they are Nuketown boys, that we might actually eventually make it back to uh, Nuketown 2025 once Black Ops comes out. I'm not telling you what they're doing. I'm I'm assuming that's what they're doing. So, Nuketown, if I ruined a surprise, my bad. But it was pretty obvious. And uh, if I'm wrong, audience, then my bad. So, hopefully uh, I'll be right. And hopefully I didn't ruin any secrets. I mean, yikes. But, moving along, we are going to continue right along from number 18. And basically just going to hook a left, basically bust a U-turn out of that parking lot and follow this road all the way to the back. This one gets a little bit tricky, but it's pretty easy to see if you just cruise in here slow and take a right at the jump. You can't miss it flashing on top of those boxes there. And those boxes are pretty obvious. I mean, where are you going to go? you got to climb up there, right? All right, so we're going to go ahead and scale these boxes, get to the top, and grab number 19. And we are getting down to the last one for this video. And again, we will have a uh, video two up. If it's not already, I'm mad at myself because I usually don't publish these until they're both up. So regardless, we will go ahead and move on to number 20. As you can see there, I gave you a nice little view at the very end there just to represent where we were because we did make a little journey. And here we are, number 20. This is in the pier just right around the corner from where we were. You can see it on the map. If you need to go back, feel free. And this one is definitely one of the trickier ones as well. It's hidden behind this. That is not in the plain sight. You do have to go behind a giant wall of boxes. And then you got to hack the damn thing. So what a pain in the ass this last one was. But a perfect spot to go out on just under that 20-minute mark total once we get done. And um, not that 20 minutes means anything. I just figured a 40-minute video would be a little ridiculous for you to go siphoning through, so I split it up. And if you don't like it, you can say something to my meat cleaver. Say something. Say something. All right, peeps. One last look at that map there before we head on into our final screen here. And uh, that's going to go ahead and wrap up Sleeping Dogs Lockboxes North Point 1 of 2, where we grab the first 20 of 40 lockboxes and do it with awesomeness. So 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you didn't waste too much of your time and we found those couple. I know most of you probably had 18 or 19 of those and only needed one or two, but hopefully that one or two helped you out and you got closer to that completion. Uh, Booyah Kashao.